For more on the religious radicalism in Europe and elsewhere and strategies to fight it, we're joined by Zainab Al-Zuvic. Uh, sorry, I messed that up, but I got it close. Uh, she's executive director of the American Islamic uh, Congress. First of all, let's uh, step back. Uh, well, the EU uh, members talking about enlisting uh, Arab nations in this fight. Uh, do you see that as a good move? Uh, I think it's, it's an important move. Uh, I think the Arab uh, nation should be engaged in that. Um, I think they need also the support of the Western uh, power uh, to overcome the struggle that they have internally inside their own countries. And also that's, that's terror is actually not staying in one area now, it's spreading around the world. So it's our responsibility as human beings all around the world to stop that kind of terror and violence that's uh, threatening our lives every single Let day. Let me ask you about what's happening in Europe, because we saw the attack in Paris uh, at the satirical magazine's offices. Mm -hmm. Then, just uh, late last week, uh, this raid in uh, Belgium, uh, these radicals picked up there as well. What's causing this spread? I mean, do you have any thoughts on that? Well, the spreading of the uh, Islamist and jihadist ideology um, that has been uh, embedded with in under so many different names in the uh, Middle East and in the Muslim world now is on the rise. They didn't see or we as as countries, whether in uh, in the Western world or countries in the Middle East and the Muslim world, they didn't um, take a very severe measures against these kind of uh, brutal and extreme uh, um, groups. And what we see today is the result of that because we did not really give them a lesson and teach them that lesson from the beginning when, when we have witnessed it and seen it on small scales here and there. Uh, EU ministers talking about different methods to go after this. One thought is to send uh, people abroad to actually mm -hmm. gather information. You think that would be successful? I don't think the information is successful at the, uh, or that move will be successful at this point. I think we need much more uh, strong um, answer to that. Uh, we need to crush these groups. We need to uh, dismantle what they have and uh, take the, the weapons that they have and also um, stop this, this fight, stop the killing of innocent people from different backgrounds, from different uh, um, uh, religions and so. And, uh, and also it's not only in one area, it's spreading all around the world. So we have to take into consideration what's really going on and we have to stop that as soon as we can. What is going on? What is going on? Yeah. Spreading of the radical uh, Islamist ideology that has been killing innocent people all around the world. And this, there's no differentiation between Muslim or non-Muslims in here because anyone who does not believe in the same ideology that will be killed and be subject to terror and violence. Is there uh, other methods you think that could be implemented? I mean, obviously the EU talking about this, the United States as well, a number of uh, countries. I mean. Cameron was here last week, and, and he met with uh, President Obama here in the United States. They talked about this issue. I mean, what can be done in terms of coming up with a blueprint that would be effective, do you think? Well, I think what's, what's really effective now is it's a strong answer to what's really going on inside, uh, inside uh, the areas that's been affected, whether in Europe or in the Middle East and the Muslim world. There are a lot of jihadist uh, radical groups that they need this kind, I think for, for us to feel safe around the world as a human being, we need this kind of answer. There is no a magic wand that we can, we can put there, but we have methods and uh, that we have learned and we have used before against other groups such as Al-Qaeda and, and other groups um, uh, around the world. So why don't this one be um, uh, at the, uh, we take a measure at the same, at the same way we have done. We're out of time, but I do have to ask you this, uh, and if you could be brief, um, mm -hmm. you said to feel safe as a human being, but what about feeling safe as a Muslim? I mean, there's this concern that there's going to be a backlash. Mm -hmm. Are you concerned about that? Um, look, we live in, in countries that have rule of law, and the concern of being attacked or being this and that, it's, it's subject to that can happen anywhere. But I think since there is a rule of law that protects minorities, protects people in, in general, and serve the human beings, then I don't, I don't feel that threat. Well, that's good to hear. Thanks so much for coming in and Thank joining you. us. Appreciate it.